Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're back here at Sioka Ford of Lawrenceville in Lawrenceville, New Jersey to check out this brand new 2024 Ford Ranger. This is the XLT trim with four wheel drive. The color here is carbonized gray with an ebony cloth interior. It's an interesting spec. It's got some heavy duty features on it, some really cool features, and then it, it kind of missing a couple of things. It's kind of a weird custom build that the person who ordered the car did not take. So it's available for sale. But at the end of the video, I want you to tell me, is this the new redesigned, refreshed midsize pickup truck that you would buy? Let me know. So let's dig in. All right, taking a look at the front end of this Ranger XLT, we got the carbonized gray, good color, flat black on the grill, top and bottom, another good move, the Ford Blue Oval in the center. We do have LED daytime running lights, headlights, and fog lamps with standard bulbs on the turn signals down below. We do have the black recovery hooks as well. So again, a really good looking front end and they've made it look like an F-150, which I think is what the idea was behind this redesign. Now, as we take a look at our wheel and tire setup here, we do have a 17 inch machined aluminum alloy wheel, which is carbonized gray, same color as the body, which I do like that, that match up. The black Ford badge on the center cap now. These 17 inch wheels are wrapped in Goodyear Wrangler Territory All-Terrain Tires, 255 on the width, a massive 70 series sidewall 17s, all four corners, four wheel drive, pulling on out. Again, the carbonized gray with flat black all the way around and the wheels matching the body. I think it looks good. Let me know if you like that kind of look. As we move on in, we do have the XLT call out on the front fender, looking good in chrome. Let me know if you, this should have been blacked out or not. Flat black on your side view mirrors with 360 degree view cameras, flat black on the front and rear door handle. Up top, we got a color matched roof, an antenna, no shark fin, should be a shark fin, no sunroof. Or on the rear end of the Ranger, I do like how they have Ranger stamped into the tailgate. Again, the Ford badge in the center. We do have LED taillights, standard bulbs for turn signals. We do have the advanced tow package plus the tech package in here. So there is the tow hitch with the connectors. So we'll give you those towing numbers when we go ahead and take a look at the engine. And then we have the exhaust tucked up underneath the back right wheel. We are under the hood of this 24 Ranger XLT 4x4. And what are we looking at for a power plant? We have Ford's 2.3 liter EcoBoost inline four cylinder engine mated to a 10 speed automatic transmission. 270 horsepower, 310 pound feet of torque, MPGs, 20 in the city, 24 on the highway, 22 combined. Now this Ranger can tow up to 7,500 pounds and that's including this trailer tow package that's on there, the advanced tow package, which also gives you a class four receiver and a wiring harness and it increases your payload capacity up to 1,805 pounds. So a really good package if you're looking for towing and payload action in a midsize pickup. And if you're looking at your octane rating in this engine, we're looking at a minimum octane rating of 87. So you can run this on regular unleaded gas. All right, now the $64,000 question, how much? Well, it isn't $64,000. Now, a week ago we saw that Ranger Lariat. Now that was about 49, just under 50 for that one. This one has some really good stuff in it, missing a few things, but we're looking at a price point of about $5,000 less than the Lariat. So let's see what you get. Well, the base price for the 24 Super Crew Ranger 4x4 XLT trim is $39,595. Now we do have to add in some options, which we'll go over later when we check out the window sticker. And we do have to add in a destination and delivery charge of $1,595 from Ford's Wayne Assembly Plant in Michigan, which is gonna give you a total MSRP from the factory of $45,555. So let's check out the interior. Starting with the driver door panel, we'll come on in. We're gonna go soft touch all the way across the top. And then we have our door locks with just some flat black around there. 
We do have a nice soft armrest with the soft touch and the light gray stitching, which I like. Light gray trim here on the grab handle. Flat black on our switch gear with power fold mirror, which is a real nice touch on an XLT, as far as I'm concerned. And then down below, huge door pocket, standard audio system. We have a nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator with the carpeted mats in the back of the vehicle at this time. Now, first confusing option. We have full power seats with lumbar for the driver and the front passenger. So dual full power for both front seat passengers, but we go all cloth. We have ebony with dark gray with the lighter gray stitching with the insert. Nice soft bolstering though, and they are comfortable seats, but with all the options in this, it makes the cloth seat stand out as something odd. Front passenger door panel, same action as the driver. Now, the insert is flat black, but I do like that design in there to try to give it some kind of flair for a very monochromatic design. Up top, we're going to go some hard black plastic. Then we're going to have this light gray trim. Then we have a nice rubberized shelf for the passenger to put their phone in. This ribbed plastic design into your heat and air vent, which looks cool. And then down below, a nice large glove box. Infotainment system, we have a fully integrated SYNC 4. I do like the fact that it's fully integrated, but I, I do prefer the horizontal one rather than the vertical one. Two heat and air vents. Now we have wireless CarPlay, Android Auto. We got our navigation, comes up really quickly. Pinch to zoom, really, really good. No problem there. We do have our home button where you can get to all your apps, Sirius XM HD radio, Bluetooth your phone, nav, media. There's your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto apps, owner's manual, sketch pad. We got our tra trailing, trailering app so we can add our trailer. Once we have it added, we can go through our checklist to make sure everything is done correctly so we don't drive off and leave our trailer behind. So they got all that set. Here's your standard vehicle settings where you can go in, set up all the vehicle settings you would like in here to customize it for yourself, including your driver profiles. Turn on your auto vehicle hold on or off. Go to a comm screen if you want as well. So SYNC 4, great system, easy to use. We go to reverse, there's our backup camera, 360 degree view on the bottom with trajectory and our toe center line. We can change how we want this. We can zoom in, we can zoom out, we can go and get different views down here. So they got you all set as far as this goes in this system. Nicely done. Here's your trailer disconnect down here. Here are the hard controls for your dual climate. Climate system is on the bottom. As you can see, dual climate control, three stage heated seats for the driver and the front passenger, but no heated steering wheel. So that's another oddity considering how some of the other high end features are in here. Down further, we have a USB-C, USB-A and a wireless charging pad. Here's our gear shift with the gator to go through this 10 speed automatic. You want to shift manually. Here you go right there. Electronic emergency brake. Now we have here, we have our park assist. We have our engine auto stop start on off traction control on off and our diff lock down here. We can go through our drive modes and we can also go through our two high, four high, four low two cup holders, another oddity with all these extra features. We don't have push button start. We have a key that goes in the ignition barrel, lock, unlock. Then we have remote start and a panic button. But with these kind of features in here, you would expect you would have push button start in this Ranger, but we don't. And then we have a nice soft armrest with the stitching, open it up and a nice large area for storage with a 12 volt. Ranger steering wheel, nice leather wrap wheel with the cross stitch, 10 and 2 notches feel good, Ford badge on the horn button, nice round bottom wheel, I have no problem getting in and out of this Ranger, a really nice spacious cockpit area. Now over here on the left, we have our adaptive cruise, volume, voice commands, and then on the right, you're going to have your telephone command, seek for your music, and that sort of thing. We don't have paddles, that's why we say you can shift manually using the gear shift and these buttons right there. Now on our stalks, you're going to have your high beams and turn signals on the left, and you're going to have your windshield wipers on the right. And then down below here, you're going to be able to turn your bed lighting on and off, adjust your headlights, turn on and off your fog lamps, brighten dim the dash. We do have a manual tilting and telescoping wheel, a little stiff, brand new vehicle. And then we have a fully digital dash. 
looking good. And now let's check out our drive modes. So going to the left on the dial, we can go from normal to eco, to sport, to tow haul, to slippery. And then we need to go back the other way. I wish you could just go all the way around in one fell swoop, but you can't. So there you have that. So it's nice and easy to use. And then of course, you have additional information. You can go through on the dash as well on things that you may wanna see when you're going down the road. So it is nice and easy to use. And I do like how it's set up. Overhead console, it's huge. We have a spot for our shades right here. And then you want your dome lighting to come on and off and you open to close the door. You don't have to do anything. Leave everything off. We open the door that comes on, close the door, and it goes off. There you have it. And now we do have the power window for the crew cab area. You got to hold it in, but it'll open and it'll close. No problem. No roof to show you. But here's another oddity. We have this action. We have this action. We have the updated system action in here digital dash and all this trailer stuff, but our rear view mirror is a plain framed rear view mirror. And that's it. No home link, no garage door program bulls or nothing. So another strange looking action on this. Now, sun visor with vanity, but no light. Another weird one. And then does it slide? Yes, it does. All right, now we're gonna get in the crew cab area. Here is the running board that I can step on. Of course, this is an option. About 695 bucks for that, those running boards. But let's jump on in. We'll step on the running board. We'll get on in. No problem getting in. Plenty of room for my head, shoulders, and knees at 5 foot 11. Look at all the room I have back here, too, in this crew cab. The most crew cab space here in the back of any of these mid-size pickups I've done so far. No, it's all cloth. We don't have a seat pocket behind the driver. We do have one behind the front passenger. Then in the back, we do have an area for storage. USB-C. USB-A, and a home power source. So they got you covered there. Rear door panels, same action as the front, except you're gonna go hard black plastic up top. And then the back, we have the same nice seats. Now, they're nice and comfortable for cloth seats with the lighter gray interior, uh, insert here in the black. The headrest a bit thin, but they are nice and soft. And then we do have an armrest. Bring that down, super soft, two cup holders. So they got you covered back here for comfort and connectivity. So I'm all set. If you need extra storage and you don't have anybody in the back or you need to put stuff in before people get in the back, you pull the strap out and lift up and you have under seat storage on both sides here in this Ranger. So that's a nice touch. When you're done, just lying back down, no problem. Getting into the bed of your Ranger, we don't have an automatic tailgate. It's a manual tailgate. So another oddity considering some of the options that are in this vehicle. So you got to come to the back, pull it down, let it come down nice and easy. There you go. There are the floor mats in the front bracket. We do have a plastic drop-in bed liner in this one, and it looks pretty good. We do have these areas right here to put seat clamps on on either side, so you can measure and cut things here on the back of this Ranger, so that's good. So they got you covered there. Here in the back, we have dual setup. We have a 12 volt and a home power source here in the back. I like that quite a bit. We got the uh, side rail protection. We got some areas for tie downs and you're all set. Now, what comes with this advanced tow package is not only can you tow up to 7,500 pounds, your payload capacity goes up to 1,805 pounds with this advanced tow package. So those are two best in class numbers now for the Ranger and the mid-size pickup truck segment. And if you're looking for mid-size pickup and you want max towing and payload capacity, this is the package to get on the Ford Ranger. Let me know what you think about that. Ranger window sticker, here we go. 2024 Ranger Super Crew XLT, standard features across the top. There are the option packages on here. Here is our pricing. Here is the total vehicle MSRP from Ford. 
MPG estimates. Let's take this baby out for a spin. All right, we are on the road in this 2024 Ranger XLT 4x4 carbonized gray. And right off the bat, we got great visibility at all the windows, no problem. Plus, we got blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, lane keep assist, all that jazz is in this Ranger now. We do have the all-terrain tire, so you're going to get some you're going to feel some bumps. You're going to feel the uh, the uh, tire noise and whatnot in this car. But the thing that, the way this one is specced up, the thing that is the big deal on this, as far as I can see, is the fact that you have this advanced tow package where you can get up to 7,500 pounds of towing and 1,805 pounds of max payload, which are both best in class. So. If you don't care about some of the other things I mentioned earlier in the review, like the lack, like this, this plain Jane rear view mirror, or the fact that you don't have a push button start, um, or the cloth seats, uh, with all this other tech in here, uh, you know, then this one is right up your alley because you got the towing, you got the off-road capability, and you have the 360 degree view cameras that we don't see all the time in an XLT trim. So if you're off-road, you can see what's going on in front of the vehicle as well as the sides and behind. So that's really good as well. Now we're gonna check out our brakes. Piece of cake going down the road, no problem. And now we are gonna take off. Wallows in the turns, but that's to be expected in a, a truck with all-terrain tires. But this 2.3 EcoBoost inline four gets the vehicle up and running, no problem, right? We got good amount of horsepower, good amount of torque. Now, is this as much as the new Tacoma? No, the new Tacoma's got it beat uh, on the uh, the uh, torque. Uh, and the horsepower I do believe just slightly so it's probably in the ballpark but it's slightly a little bit less than Tacoma but it feels good it gets the vehicle where you need to be all right so now we're sitting here we're gonna check out our turning radius which is pretty wide on this vehicle not surprising with the all-terrain tires we're looking at 21.25 feet which is pretty darn big. We're gonna let these cars pass us before we try it, because we're probably gonna to have to K-turn it. So here we go. Yeah, and we're not gonna get close on this road. So we'll clay turn it, but right now you can't see it. I got my backup cameras on, I got my 360 on, beautifully clear, and now we'll take off. And down the road we go, and you know, the vehicle's very light on its feet for a, for a mid-size pickup. It feels good, it feels nimble, which I do like. The steering, really, really nice. You know, it's not too light, it's not vague at all, it's very direct, so just be careful you don't, you know, give it one of these going down the road. It'll wobble all over the place, <laughs> you know, with your arm out the window, you know, one of these jobs. But, Overall, it's a really good pickup. And now at 45, 555, that's five grand less than that Lariat we saw. And it's got the advanced tow package with that, which that Lariat did not have. So let me know, is this the kind of setup you would go with for your midsize pickup? Is the Ford Ranger with these payload and towing numbers that are best in class, is this the one that you would buy? Or are you gonna go somewhere else in the midsize pickup truck market with your hard earned money? Let me know that in the comments as well. But I do wanna thank Sioka Ford of Lawrenceville here in Lawrenceville, New Jersey for allowing the channel access to this 2024 Ford Ranger XLT 4x4 in carbonized gray for a review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing. Turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. 
and I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.